everyone! Before we get into today's episode of Prime News, I want to remind you we are doing a giveaway right now. This giveaway is now for the month of August. We'll be giving away a copy of Crystal Chronicles Remastered Edition for the PlayStation 4 and or Nintendo Switch. The winner will get to choose to enter. You need to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon, and, well, comment down below. The comment's very important because the comment is actually how I track if you've liked and subscribed and all that jazz. Do that in every video in the month of August. August and well today the last day of July uh, to get entered for a chance to win that being said also if we hit 50 thousand subscribers we're on that road to 50k if we can hit 50 thousand subscribers before November I will then give away an Xbox Series X a PlayStation 5 or a Nintendo switch if that it happens to be what you'd rather have instead so yeah um, hit that subscribe button let's let's get to 50k <laughs> Hey folks, welcome back to Prom Freaking News. We have some big stories for you today. Three only though. Kind of a prime mini in a way. But these stories are important. And the first one we have is about Beyond Good and Evil. Yes, we have actually news about Beyond Good and Evil. But not Beyond Good and Evil 2. That game Ubisoft announced a while ago that seems like it's just in development hell and we have no idea what the freak is going on. Uh, but... There is actually going to be a Beyond Good and Evil Netflix movie adaption. It's been officially announced. This isn't a rumor. Officially announced. And, uh, yeah, the director is the same one that directed Detective Pikachu. So it's a Netflix film, has a reliable director behind it. So it might actually end up being good. Are we about to get another good video game adaption to movies? And I guess we'll find out, well, I don't know when we'll find out because there's no tentative release date for it, but it's been announced, it's happening, uh, so cool for Beyond Good and Evil fans. This next story is kind of a big deal, and it kind of rolls up into another rumor that's out there, but this is the official part. Halo Infinite will have 100% free multiplayer at the launch of Xbox Series X. You will not need an Xbox Live Gold subscription. You can just literally play Halo Infinite multiplayer for free. In addition, that multiplayer will be 120 FPS. That's right. It'll be the first console major FPS game that's multiplayer to be 120 FPS in the entire world as far as we're aware because we don't feel Call of Duty is trending in that direction at this time. So, hell yeah, that sounds crazy. Finally, some really, really, really good news about Halo Infinite. And this kind of rolls up into another rumor because Jeff Grubb, uh, industry insider with Xbox, put out there that Xbox Live Gold is going to become free um, eventually here. Now, something strange has happened. You can no longer buy year subscriptions for Xbox Live Gold right now. They have been eliminated. You cannot buy them digitally or physically anymore. And people are wondering, why did they do that? Well, the primary reason it seems that they did that was to, well, hey, um, get rid of Xbox Live Gold and roll up all their subscription services into Game Pass Ultimate and xCloud and all of that jazz. Now, what, this, the, what, what he clarifies in his tweet about it is that, uh, hey, Xbox Live... Um, is going to just not really exist uh, basically you'll be able to play online multiplayer for free on every game likely on xbox series x not just halo infinite but halo infinite is the first game to announce it and make this official news so woo! good news for halo infinite i've been hoping for some good news because i actually liked the trailer sue me and the last story we have for you today is more nintendo direct rumors i know a lot of you probably clicked on this video because of the Nintendo Direct rumors. Some people are getting sick of these Nintendo Direct rumors. Why oh, can't we just leave it alone and let Nintendo do their own thing? Because we care about Nintendo Directs, that's why. And we have some more Direct rumors, uh, this time coming again from King Zell and actually from Zippo. And Zippo's an interesting one because he has claimed, we have no actual evidence, but he has claimed, uh, on Reset Era anyways, that the Nintendo Ninjas have basically come after him and made it so he cannot leak things anymore. So the way he phrased his post is very much a um, opinion that doesn't sound like it's an opinion, but is in a way that Nintendo will leave him alone. Uh, so let's get into this. First off, King Zell clarified his earlier comments on a Nintendo Direct in August and explained what that Direct is likely going to be and when we can expect the big general Direct he said was going to come after the next small thing. His Direct words say, So, 
The next stop being in the later half of August makes me think no general until September. So he's thinking another partner showcase or something is happening towards the end of August with the Big Daddy show happening in September. Now, what can we expect at that Big Daddy show? That's where Zippo comes in and said this. I don't think there will be any new internally developed first party games for the rest of 2020. COVID hit them a lot harder than they will admit. The Mario Collection, 3D World, Pikmin 3, Bravely Default 2, COH, along with Pokemon and Smash DLC will be what they have for the remaining months, I think. And it's interesting that he added the I think at the end there because he can't leak things without being in trouble with Nintendo, supposedly. And Zippo has actually been really accurate on stuff in the past before he supposedly got shut down by Nintendo. Uh, and I'm, I'm not trying to discredit him here. Uh, if he was faking all this stuff, Reset Era would have banned him a long time ago. They're kind of like NeoGAF. If you put out fake stuff, you're destroyed uh, and not allowed to be at, the ch uh, at that forum anymore. But it is what it is. This is the information we have. And... I'm still standing by that Nintendo's going to release Breath of the Wild 2 this holiday. I know Zippo's basically saying that's not going to happen. There'll be no first party stuff. It's just going to be basically a bunch of ports and remasters and Bravely Default 2. And that's what we're getting the rest of the year. Um, and that's fine. And Nintendo can probably skate by on that because Switch is just that successful right now. But I hope that Nintendo isn't going to skate by. I am a little scared when he says that Nintendo has been hit by COVID harder than they're willing to admit. Uh, that makes it sound like Nintendo's sugarcoating things, which I feel like we got an example of that in the last investors meeting because it talked about how, oh, the games we have planned for 2020 aren't delayed, but then later clarified by saying that we may be impacted and may be delaying software and hardware development because of COVID. It's like kind of contradicting statements in a way i know some people are telling tell me it's not contradicting it's not that but now we have zippo coming out and being like hey covid's hitting them harder than they're even willing to admit which means that clearly there's been delays uh and covid is a big deal at nintendo and it's it's just screwing everything up um so yeah smash dlc uh pokemon dlc and all the other rumored games that exist out there that are being ported on the 35th anniversary pikmin 3 by the way we didn't even know that that was a possibility this year so that would be a nice get um, yeah, that doesn't mean that Nintendo can't announce other games. I want to clarify this. He's just saying that's all we're going to get in 2020. At that big general direct that's supposedly happening in September. Now, that's the target. September. The month of September. We could still get big games announced. They would just be for 2021. So we could see Breath of the Wild 2 there, but it would be for 2021. Uh, so... We'll see what happens. they got to give us more than just that in that big general drive. They can't just give us a bunch of ports and remasters. Um, they got to announce some stuff that's coming in 2021 if they really want to get people jazzed. But maybe some Metroid Prime 4 action? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there. Maybe Metroid Prime 4? Um, but I don't know. That's all I got for you guys today. That was today's episode of Prime Freaking News. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, kind of a short one. So uh, let's just end this with a little, uh, little dance-off, huh?